Let's look at how to use Excel to draw a histogram of some group data. Here is my group data here, this frequency table. This of course is the frequency table which was created from the raw data here in the previous video. I want to chart the frequency values and I'm going to use a histogram rather than a simple bar chart. And the reason is that the data here is continuous. If the data was discrete, you can use a simple bar chart, but if the data is continuous, the variable that's being measured is continuous, then you should use a histogram. And a histogram differs from a simple bar chart in two main ways. Firstly, there must be no gap between the bars, because there's no gap between the intervals. But secondly, the width of each, gap, of each bar must be the same as the width of each interval. Now, if you have intervals which are of the same width as we have here, they're all 10 wide, then doing that in Excel is very straightforward. If they are not of the same width, then it's not so easy in Excel to create a histogram. Um, but there is a, a workaround which I won't be discussing here. So I want to create a histogram here. Now, before I start doing that, I do need to create some text labels which we're going to put on the horizontal axis. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight my data set here and move it over one column. Oops, moved it down up a bit. Let's just move it back down. There we go. So I've now got a spare column here where I can put some text labels for the intervals. And the first one, of course, is naught up to 10. The second one, of course, is greater than 10 up to 20, because, of course, these are continuous intervals. So it's not going to be 11. It's got to be greater than 10 and up to 20, and so on for the rest. There we go. So here I, now I've got some nice labels, which I'll be able to put onto my chart. So let's start producing the histogram here. So the, what I need to do is to highlight the data I'm going to graph. And this is the first step in creating any graph in or any chart in Excel. So highlight the data, which is the frequency values. Careful not to include the number here. That's simply, of course, the sum of these values, which is the same as the number of observations. Now go to the insert menu and we want a bar chart or column chart as it's called here in Excel. A simple 2D one will suffice here. You can use 3D if you wish, but a 2D, 2D one will be okay. So I'll select that. And here we have my chart, which at the moment is just a simple bar chart. I need to turn it into a histogram. But the first thing I'm going to do is to add these text labels here to the horizontal axis so that they are correctly labeled. Now to do that you choose select data up here and as you can see there's a box here in which you can put the axis labels, the range containing the axis labels. So click in that and then simply drag over the range containing these labels. Just check you've got them all, yeah. Click OK and as you can see, those are nicely put in. Again, I'll just make this a little bigger. Now, as I say, at the moment it's a bar chart because there are gaps between the bars. We need to get rid of that. Uh, the way to do this is to simply double click on one of the bars and that will bring up a dialog box at the side where we can reduce the gap width to zero. Before I do that, let me just say as a general rule, if you want to amend or edit any feature of a chart, simply double click the bit that you want to change, be it the chart title, the, the bars, the axes, whatever. Double click, that will bring up a relevant dialog box or menu from which you can choose options. So I'm going to double click here. And as you can see, this brings up the format data series uh, dialog here. There are various options. 
this one enables you to change the color fill here or add a border this one enables you to add some fancy effects like shadows or soft edges and this one which is what i want enables me to reduce the gap with here down to zero and that of course is now turned into a histogram and each bar here is the same width as the width of the interval I say since they're equally width here that's easy enough to do now there's a couple of other things I could do here is to add a type a proper title so I'll double click here I'm not going to change the font or anything like that I'll just change the title to histogram The other thing I might want to add here is some labels for the axes and I can do that by going to add chart element and axes titles add a primary horizontal one and a vertical one but I won't probably bother with the oh yes I will add a, a vertical one here okay so that shows you how to create a histogram in Excel